Well, guys, I'm going to try this again. I, my phone, I don't know, it's a newer the stylo, new phone. Haven't been out that long. It has really been giving me trouble, and I'll see here in a minute if it's going to work. But anyway, I've been out on these back roads, or gravel, one and three quarter lane roads. <coughs> Checking, running around the pipeline. Yeah, it's not going to work. Well, guys, uh, if I can send this one, I will. Anyway, uh, man, I don't understand this phone. So uh, it's fixing to end up in a million pieces. I kid you not. If it wasn't for that being my only phone, it would done been gone. So, I'm going to keep talking, uh, running the back roads, uh, the areas around here, tree lines are like 100, 102, 100, maybe 200 foot wide, they'll go about three quarter to a mile long, really not a good uh, bug out area in my opinion, uh, there's just too much open on either side of them. I like more dense areas, but, you know, I wouldn't even attempt to stay a night or two in one of these areas because it's, it doesn't, you know, you get that vibe or that feel, yeah, boy, this is a good spot here, so, but this, this, these areas are a bunch of cornfields. And uh, they have tree line for uh, wind breaks to uh, maintain erosion, control that. As I'm traveling down the roads here, uh, I seen a herd of deer this morning. Uh, I lost count at 11. There was more that already went into a tree line, so I know there's a lot more out there. Uh, just a little while ago, I seen two buck out in the field. Beautiful large buck. They had a rack, handler spread, good, beautiful side. I don't hunt anymore, so that just I quit hunting many years ago. Anyway, uh, seen a bald eagle the other day in the road. Somebody run over a possum, bald eagle had was down there and uh, having him some lunch. A beautiful sight. I, one of these days I'll get a GoPro. That way I can get more good pictures. Phone only zoom so much, and you know it. You know the quality of a phone. So trying to see if them deer moved up in this area. Seen a lot of red birds. Tons of red birds out here. Beautiful sight out here, guys. Uh, and I work, I run up and down the roads, I stop off at sites, I check out people, make sure they're doing their work safe, and, uh, and I just enjoy where I'm at. So I'm away from home majority of the time, typically work six days a week, but most times seven days a week, about 12 hours a day. <clears throat> Sometimes 13, so I haven't been on here a lot, and that's that's the reason why. So uh, as I'm going along the roads, I see some uh, litter, you know, various trash and stuff. But majority of it's uh, aluminum cans, beer cans, soda cans, things like that, energy drinks. Those are containers, guys. Uh, if you get in a situation, you look for that. Don't look at it as trash. Look at it as a tool, a essential container that I can keep water in, I can heat it up, boil it, sterilize it, I can transport it in a can. <coughs> if you rub the top on a semi-rough surface, you'll, uh, what it'll do, it'll take this little ridge right here, and then you just pop that out, 
and you got a little drinking container. I don't throw my stuff out. I save cans to recycle them. Uh, a lot of things you can use. Uh, bottles, you can use them to, like an old, what do you call them, 20-ounce soda bottles, things like that. <coughs> you can use that to transport water, things. Uh, you can take a larger one liter, two liter bottles, cut the top off, turn it around, stick it in there, secure it somehow. Make you out a little trap for minnows and stuff. Uh, we can caught a crawfish in there. They were small, uh, but you get a bunch of them, then you know, that's a little meal there. Good protein. Minnows, if you catch those, you can eat those, but you can also use them to catch bigger fish. So, while you're out there running around trying to stay warm, layer of clothing, if you start to sweat in this cold weather, uh, hypothermic set in, I always keep a cap on when I'm outside, and I'm talking one that goes over years. Keep your head warm, keep your hands, feet warm, and uh, you'll be in pretty good shape. But if you start to sweat, uh, it could, you could die. I mean, it's plain and simple. I ain't going to sugarcoat it. Your hypothermia sets in, you get confused. <clears throat> Your motor functions slow down. Your organs start to slow down. No, oh, it's, it's a bad situation. So, while you're uh, out and about, always be prepared. Carry stuff in your vehicle, cold weather stuff. Uh, Harbor freight, moving quilts. Man, them things are good. I actually had to use one here a while back because I didn't have any bedding. Hadn't travel trailers, so I used uh, one of those Harbor freight uh quilts. Thing messing up on me. But anyway, learn something new, be prepared, and do those primitive skills. I know you haven't been doing them. Y'all be safe. Stay warm. <laughs>